Our other big story, Bibb County has a new budget with no tax increase, but it is only temporary. And commissioners say they are not finished working on that budget. In our 13 WMAZ poll, we want to know how you think Bibb County should solve its budget crisis, raise taxes, cut spending, or a combination of both. You can open the 13 WMAZ mobile app or go to 13WMAZ.com slash vote to cast your vote. Abby Kasuris was at that meeting this afternoon where a whole bunch of different proposals were presented. Abby joins us live now in studio. Earlier today at the start of today's meeting, county commissioners had eight budget plans to work through. Crystal Jones from the county's attorney's office told them if they didn't pass a budget vote before the deadline, they could face legal action. Then commissioners quickly started getting down to business with a new plan. That having a budget would, would be better than having no budget today. Mayor Robert Rickert said it was their mission to come up with a budget to keep departments open after the July 1st deadline. His first attempt at a budget with a 3.29 millage rate failed. Eight votes later, they had a plan, but just a temporary one. But it contemplates no millage rate increase at this point. And it provides that we would come to work on Monday. The county's assistant manager, Julie Moore, says this budget allows for outside agencies like Georgia DFACS, Meals on Wheels, Bowden Golf Course, Libraries, MTA, and Parks and Beautification to continue to be funded for the next 30 days. To a 30-day window so that we can appropriately give them a RIF notice that those would no longer be funded departments. Those 30 days gives the Operations and Finance Committee time to find funds that would go towards those cut agencies. Commissioner Valerie Wynn voted yes on this proposal, but she says she has some ideas on how to raise those funds. We're not going to shut down. We're going we're to have some discussions starting next week about the budget, and I, I feel like there'll be some agreement that comes out with this millage rate increase. Commissioner Elaine Lucas voted no on the budget. She says the outside agencies that are getting cut are important for the community. So we ended up with a, an interim uh, budget that is just not going to meet the needs of all of our citizens and our employees. While some commissioners feel this is a good stepping stone, others say it will be a headache to get commissioners to agree again. Now, Commissioners Al Tillman, Scotty Shepard, Joe Allen, Mallory Jones, Larry Schlesinger, and Valerie Wynn voted to approve that interim budget. Frank, back to you at the desk. All right, Abby, thank you very much. Now, the Commission's Operations and Finance Committee is scheduled to meet tomorrow to continue working on the budget. And in our 13 WMAZ poll, most of you seem to think cutting spending is the way to go as opposed to raising taxes.